Hold on to your hats, folks, because the worlds of politics and football just collided in a way nobody saw coming. It's not every day you see these two realms intersect, but when they do, it's bound to be a spectacle. Former President Donald Trump, a man known for his Twitter fingers and, well, let's just say unconventional approach to politics, recently gave a shout out to none other than Brittany Mahomes, wife of Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes. This unexpected nod has left both political pundits and sports analysts scratching their heads. Now you might be thinking, Trevor, what's so strange about that? Maybe he's a Chiefs fan. But wait, there's more to this story than meets the eye. This isn't just a casual mention. It's a calculated move that has deeper implications. And to that, I say, hold your horses, because this is about more than just football. This is about politics, baby. The intersection of these two worlds has created a ripple effect, stirring conversations and debates across social media platforms and news outlets. Brittany, known for her unwavering support of her husband and her own entrepreneurial ventures, found herself in the political crosshairs. Her influence extends beyond the football field, making her a significant figure in both sports and business communities. Why? It all started with a seemingly innocuous like on an Instagram post. A simple double tap that set off a chain reaction, leading to a whirlwind of speculation and controversy. But this wasn't just any post, oh no. This was a post related to Trump's MAGA agenda. And as we all know, the internet never forgets. The digital age has a way of magnifying even the smallest actions, turning them into headline news. And in this case, it has brought Brittany Mahomes into the spotlight in a way no one could have predicted. In the age of social media, every click, every like, every share is scrutinized, analyzed, and often blown out of proportion. And when you're a public figure like Brittany Mahomes, the scrutiny is magnified tenfold. So when she liked an Instagram post that aligned with Trump's Make America Great Again movement, the internet took notice. It wasn't a public declaration of support, no fiery speeches or campaign rallies, just a simple like, a digital thumbs up that spoke volumes in the court of public opinion. It was enough to spark controversy and ignite a firestorm of reactions from both sides of the political spectrum. The reaction to Britney's digital endorsement was swift and divided. On one hand, there were those who applauded her for standing up for her beliefs, regardless of her platform or public persona. They saw it as a brave act of defiance against the so-called cancel culture that often silences dissenting voices. On the other hand, there was a wave of backlash, particularly from those who vehemently opposed Trump and his policies. They accused her of being out of touch with the realities of marginalized communities and argued that her support, even if tacit, was harmful and irresponsible. Never one to miss an opportunity, Trump himself weighed in on the controversy, praising Britney for her courage and thanking her for her support. He even used the occasion to reiterate his own political talking points, drawing a direct link between Britney's like and his own agenda. This only added fuel to the fire, further politicizing the situation and putting Britney squarely in the middle of a political tug of war. It became less about a simple social media interaction and more about the broader implications of celebrity endorsements and the role of public figures in the political sphere. Section 5 Swifties sound off, disappointment, and debate. The world of Taylor Swift fandom is never short of excitement, but this time it's a mix of disappointment and heated debate. And if you thought the drama stopped there, think again. The latest controversy has fans more divided than ever. Enter the Swifties, Taylor Swift's fiercely loyal fan base, known for their unwavering devotion and their ability to mobilize online like nobody's business. They are a force to be reckoned with, especially when it comes to defending their idol. See, Taylor and Britney are known to be friends, often seen together at various public events, sharing laughs and showing support for each other. And Taylor's own political stance, while more subtle than Britney's recent display, leans decidedly left. She has been vocal about her beliefs, especially when it comes to social justice issues. Many Swifties express disappointment and confusion, feeling a sense of betrayal and questioning the authenticity of the friendship, questioning how Britney could reconcile her apparent support for Trump with her friendship with Taylor, a known advocate for progressive causes, who has been vocal in her support for LGBTQ plus rights and her opposition to Trump's policy. Taylor has always stood up for the LGBTQ plus community, making her stance clear through her music and public appearances. Online forums and comment sections became battlegrounds for debate, 
with fans passionately defending their viewpoints and trying to make sense of the situation, with fans grappling with the complexities of political differences within personal relationships. It's a reminder that even in the world of pop culture, politics can create rifts and spark intense discussions. Section 6. Friendships and Fault Lines Can Politics Divide Britney's foray into the political arena, however unintentional, shone a light on the often uncomfortable intersection of personal relationships and political beliefs. It sparked a conversation about whether it's possible to separate the two, or if our political views are so deeply ingrained that they inevitably color our perceptions of others. Can a Trump supporter and a Taylor Swift fan be genuine friends, despite their divergent political views? It's a question with no easy answers, one that has plagued families and friendships across the political spectrum, particularly in our increasingly polarized society. Section 7. More than a like examining Britney's stance. While the like heard round the internet sparked a media frenzy, it's important to acknowledge that a single social media interaction doesn't necessarily paint a complete picture of someone's political beliefs. It's possible that Britney's like was a nuanced expression of support for a specific policy or stance, rather than a blanket endorsement of Trump and his entire agenda. Perhaps she agrees with certain aspects of his platform while disagreeing with others. Or maybe, just maybe, she accidentally hit the like button while scrolling through her feed, as we've all done at some point, and the internet, in its infinite wisdom, decided to run with it. Section 8. The Taylor Factor. Silence speaks volumes. In the midst of all the online chatter and speculation, one voice remained notably silent, Taylor Swift's. The pop star, known for her carefully curated public image and her strategic approach to social media, chose not to publicly address the controversy surrounding her friend's political leanings. Some interpreted her silence as tacit approval of Britney's stance, while others saw it as a strategic decision to avoid alienating any segment of her fan base. Whatever the reason, Taylor's silence spoke volumes, adding another layer of intrigue to an already complicated situation. Section 9. A Tale of Two Americas Bridging the Divide The Brittany Mahomes saga, if we can call it that, highlights a larger issue plaguing American society, our inability to engage in civil discourse across political divides. We've become so entrenched in our own echo chambers, surrounded by like-minded individuals, that we've lost the ability to respectfully disagree and find common ground. The truth is, most of us fall somewhere in the gray area between the extremes. We might agree with one party on certain issues and with the other party on others. But nuance is lost in the digital age, where everything is reduced to black and white, likes and dislikes, us versus them. Section 10. Public Scrutiny, Private Lives, Finding the Balance As public figures, both Brittany Mahomes and Taylor Swift are no strangers to the relentless scrutiny of the public eye. Every move they make, every word they utter, every social media interaction is dissected and analyzed ad nauseum. But where do we draw the line between fair comment and invasive scrutiny? When do we cross the line from discussing their public personas to dissecting their private relationships and political beliefs? It's a delicate balance, one that we, as consumers of celebrity culture, must navigate with care and consideration. Section 11. In conclusion, the intersection of politics and personality. So what have we learned from this wild ride through the intersection of politics, football, and friendship? It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? We've seen how these seemingly separate worlds can collide in unexpected ways, creating both tension and opportunities for deeper understanding. Well, for starters, we've learned that a single social media interaction can ignite a firestorm of controversy, particularly when it involves public figures with differing political views. Social media has become a battleground where opinions clash and emotions run high, often leading to heated debates and sometimes even public outrage. We've also learned that the line between public persona and private life is becoming increasingly blurred. In today's digital age, our lives are more public than ever before, and the actions of public figures are scrutinized under a magnifying glass. Navigating the complexities of political differences within personal relationships is a challenge that many of us face, as we try to balance our own beliefs with those of our friends and loved ones. Ultimately, the Brittany Mahomes saga serves as a reminder that we're all human, with our own unique perspectives and beliefs. 
Her story highlights the importance of empathy and understanding in our interactions with others, especially when our views differ. It's a testament to the fact that despite our differences, we can still find common ground and appreciate each other's humanity. And sometimes, those beliefs are going to clash, even among friends. It's natural for disagreements to arise, but it's how we handle these disagreements that truly matters. Engage